Oh, hey, I got a new t-shirt. Let me tell you about it. Welcome back to Life in My Shoes Reviews and Such. As the intro and thumbnail indicated, I am doing a review of the American Tall Regular Fit Slub Tea. My normal format is to give you a review of the purchase and then give you some details on the product and then give you my thoughts and opinions. While a lot of the times I make these purchases in such a way that is not repetitive for you, that you can't get them the same way, instead I'm gonna give you some overviews of the purchase and what you could purchase it from the retailer. Having said that, this is not a sponsored product. I did purchase this on my own because I wanted to try out this brand. So let me tell you a little bit about the purchase. This is from the brand American Tall, which has a website basically catering to tall men and women. So their products are all tall. Whether you get a small, medium, large, extra large, there's no qualifier. Everything you purchase from that site is tall. This is the Regular Fit Slub Tea. That's the name of this particular product. I got it in the color of navy. It is offered in 11 additional colors. Um, I got it in the size extra large. Again, the qualifier that all of their sizes are tall. The retail cost is $25. Uh, it comes with free shipping for purchases over $60. They have free returns and 100% guarantee. Again, this is not a sponsored product, but I thought I would give you all those details about the purchase. Now, let me tell you about the product. This is primarily, if not exclusively, from American Tall's website. So, the description from their website of this tea. Uh, tall teas are the most fundamental building block of a guy's wardrobe. Every guy needs a go-to base layer, something they can just as easily wear on a weekday as they can on the weekend. We designed this men's tall t-shirt to be the reliable staple piece that you can wear all year round, whether you want to layer it under a sweater in the winter or wear it on its own in the summer. This tee has been crafted specifically for your silhouette with an extra long length that will end at your hip and short sleeves that will provide the right amount of coverage for your long arms. It's made of a slub fabric, a medium weight knit blend that's woven with low tension looms to create a unique texture with a vintage feel. Plus it's been pre-washed and shrinkage controlled, so it requires the kind of low maintenance care we love. Wear it with anything from a button up shirt and jeans to a knit sweater and chinos. The size slash fit as described by American Tall is this is a regular fit. So it's not an athletic, it's not a slim. It is what they would call their regular fit. I'll talk more about my thoughts on that fit in my thoughts and opinions section, but that is how they describe it. Obviously it's short sleeve, it is a crew neck, and it is hip length. Uh, I will be showing you images of some of these features or video of some of these features throughout these descriptors. Uh, additionally, the materials and features. It has a printed and a built-in tag. So there is a printed American tall and a, uh, a size tag that is built into the shirt. Uh, it is 100% cotton. As their descriptor described it, it is called a slub jersey knit, which is a medium weight woven with low tension looms to create a unique texture and a vintage feel. Again, I'll tell you a little bit more about my thoughts on that when we go into my thoughts and opinions. And again, as they mentioned, it is a pre-washed shirt which controls the shrinkage. So you should have minimal to no shrinkage after you purchase the product. And then last, it is a self-fabric neck binding which you'll see here in this video. Now let's talk about my thoughts and opinions, starting with fit. This shirt, as some of the images will show, is more fitted along the body. It's not athletic, it's not slim, but it is more fitted. It is not a boxy shirt. Having said that, the sleeves are not as fitted, so you will have some more room in the sleeves than some of the other shirts I've had, but again, that is not a bad thing. Overall, the fit through the body is 
is fitted it and that is a nice feature. Additionally, the neck. Now the neck is a little bit of a different kind of neck uh, finish, uh, just different. I won't say that I like it better. I won't say that I dislike it. It's just different and it's fine the way it is. Uh, the shirt length and fit, again, all their products are tall. This shirt is designed to hit at the waist. So as you can see in some of these images, it's hitting me right there. Now, having said that, it is just long enough. What you saw in some or are seeing in some of these images is that I'm real close to showing my stomach when I raise my arms over my head, which is usually my qualifier for it's long enough or it's not long enough. Because if I can lift my hands and my stomach doesn't show, then that is long enough. Now the materials and quality. The Slub Jersey Knit is not the softest. So this is not as soft as some of the other t-shirts I have. It is a little more of a rough feel against the skin. Abrasive, no. Soft, not really. It is more of a, um, just a more of a rough feel against the skin. The split hem, which you see here in the images, is a really nice feature. It's nice to have and it kind of gives a little additional room there at the bottom of the shirt. It's just a nice added feature. Uh, and the material is because, I don't know if it's because of that, uh, that slub jersey knit or what it may be, it does have a little bit of a heavier feel than some of the other t-shirts that I have recently purchased. Now the comfort and style. Uh, again, to reiterate, it is not the softest. So when you talk about the, the comfort, it's not the softest material. Uh, from a styling perspective, as they described on the website, I think it can be absolutely worn alone. It's a great t-shirt and it could be a great underlayer. So they are really describing it adequately. I think you could wear it as both. Now, I would say, Given the price, the retail price of $25, I'd say that's pretty expensive to wear something exclusively as an underlayer. So I will fully uh, uh, acknowledge that I will be wearing this uh, as a standalone throughout the summer months. Uh, and uh, additionally, the color um, almost has a heather feel, which is almost kind of vintage, which I think may have something to do with the knit, that, that slub jersey knit, I'm not sure, but it has kind of a, a heather feel to it. So what are my overall thoughts about this t-shirt and what are my overall thoughts about American Tall, the brand? So what I will say as someone that is six foot four, 220-ish pounds, hmm, uh, I will say I always have to purchase Tall. So uh, I will continue to keep my eye on the website. That This is a nice shirt. It is pricing itself out, but if you can catch sales, which they do have sales periodically, if you can catch sales or get things in bundles, I think it would be really good. They have a plethora of products. They have pants, they have jackets, shirts, sweatshirts, Henleys, you name it, they have it. Uh, so I will be watching American Tall for some of the other products, sweatshirts, jackets, uh, button downs, etc. I'll be watching them for some of that stuff because it really is a decent product this is a high quality product so while it may be pricing it out of my range for a t-shirt it actually for a tall you normally have to pay a little bit of a premium price it's not horrible so there you go that's my review of the american tall regular fit slub t in navy i'll be watching the site i'll be watching their brand for additional products sales etc let me know what you think give me a thumbs up and a like and i'll be reviewing some other interesting things real soon